Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dion. This is the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. We normally start here with chapstick, but we have stuff going on, and so I'm just going to reapply my Fenty Gloss Balm in Sweet Mouth because that is what is already on my lips. And so um, this is the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. The crazy because I'm hella entertaining. Yes, I do curse sometimes on my channel. The troll because even without having on foundation. I'm still adorable as hell. I do have on some concealer under my eyes and under my nose, but that's it for face paint. And then I did this eye look just prior to this video. Today is February 17th. I think it may be uploaded in March sometime. I don't know. But the troll is just embracing your features, enhancing your natural features if you want to, but not changing your features to fit into what the beauty community standards are. You should use this or use that, you know, slim this, chisel this, get rid of, you know, whatever this is. <laughs> And, you know, shorten this, contour, all of that stuff. You don't have to do all of that. Just embrace who you are. Love yourself for who you are. Accept yourself for who you are. That's what we're about here. Self-love and self-acceptance. That's the basic concept of the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. I hope that that resonates with you. If so, or even if not, I would love to have you become a part of the Troll Nation and to rock and roll on this troll train with me. And I will show you what else I do here on this channel. This video, as you saw from the title, is some more stuff. There was a 30% off code. Scott Barnes was doing a flash sale, which is a sale that's like however many days, and it didn't say however many days, and so I jumped my ass online and bought some stuff. And it wasn't really much that I wanted from him. I want him to come out with a warm tone, grungy color story palette. That's what I want from Scott. I have Color Bomb, I love it. I have Snatural. I love it. His Altier palette or whatever it is, it, the whole palette is cool tone, which is not my jam because of my undertone. It makes me look ashy and washed out and grayish. It, it's just not good. Um, yeah, I want him to do a warm tone, grungy palette. That's what I want from him. And until then, I don't know if I'll buy another palette from him. I don't know. So what I got was, I'm trying to open the box so sorry for hitting you in the face um so what i ordered was some lip glosses um number one 30 percent off those cells be getting me y'all and i have been wanting to try his glosses this i'm opening this came free this bag um a glitz and glam type person i don't know if you noticed or not <laughs> and so i i might use it for something i might put my microfiber cloths in here that are stored over there in the container because i it's overflowing so i have a lot of them this is engraved on here and i'm sorry for the reflection it says scott barnes and it's textured you can feel it it is a cute bag has fingerprints all over it already but i i i'm just not and it is a nice size bag I have big hands, and this is like way larger than my hand. It, it's a it's a cute bag, and then I'm wondering if I would use it for like eclectic beauty to make this into a makeup bag. I don't I don't know yet. Um, yeah, cause I, this this just isn't this isn't me. Like, let me know is this my personality? But thank you. And so <laughs> I. I was looking at his lip pencils. I was a little annoyed. Altier lip pencil collection. I only got one. Came in this big ass box. <laughs> I like that it, I didn't realize it came with a pencil sharpener. So I do like that. Has his name on it. Scott Barnes. As all of his stuff does. And what annoyed me was, my fat fingers can't get this out, but that's not what annoyed me can get the damn thing out um i used the butt of a <laughs> shadow brush to get the pencil out and then pulling it the lid came off um it knows i'm annoyed with it i was annoyed looking at the colors of the lip pencil collection because i think this was the darkest one i love me with a bold eye and a dark lip 
and even though I can wear this and maybe one or two of his other lip colors that left like five or six that if you're my skin tone or deeper you won't be able to wear that annoys me even though I can wear it for my melanated sisters and brothers deeper than me they, there's nothing for them except this one so I only got one because I'm just like annoyed but this is Naomi and it says on the back of the box it's good for 12 months and this is what she looks like so it looks to my eye which I do have problems oh it's very soft because it's already uh, like bending and coming off very soft pencil which I'm not used to because I'm used to NYX <laughs> matte suede lip liners, which, which are pretty rough, but they get the job done and they're like five bucks. But to me, this looks like a chocolate brown with maybe a purple or burgundy undertone. But to you, looking at it at your view, it looks like a cool tone brown, but in person it looks deeper to me. And maybe it's my lighting but in person it does look darker so that's why i got this one because it was one of the darker ones but again it, it just annoyed me like when did you want to include everybody you know what i'm saying and i know they think they do it's relative i was at an appointment i know i'm just starting to ramble i was at i'm a dermatologist appointment and she was saying how my how people like me with darker skin tones and i actually giggled by accident then i went <laughs> then i went well i'm sorry then and she just kind of looked at me i said i know it's relative and she was Caucasian. I said, I know it's relative. But I said, but even from your skin tone to mine, like, I'm not dark. <laughs> and then she just kind of got quiet. I said, but I know it's relative. I said, I understand. I know. I said, I'm not, you know, trying to start anything. I'm just saying. And then she kind of hesitated and switched up her phrasing to say people with a little more militant in their skin than she has in hers. <laughs> but it's just, and I do know it's relative. I know. There's a woman at Sephora, wonderful, and she's been there for forever because I remember seeing her for forever and she's helped me quite a few times when I walk in. She's like extra friendly to me more than just a, hi, how are you doing? She'll be like, hey, how you been? I haven't seen you in a while. Like, she, like we know each other. And um, I lie to you not, this is her complexion. She looks, she, and I used to say white people are not white. They're like pinkish. Or maybe, you know, so light that it looks translucent because you can see their veins and capillaries under their skin. She is white. And I remember one time in particular, she was helping me find something. She was like, your, your skin tone is very fair. And I'm looking at her like, you're a piece of paper. And she's telling me I'm fair. And it always would catch me off guard when she would say that. I'm on a real, like, off somewhere right now. Somebody switched my troll track. My troll train track. And it always just kind of like, what? this lady's a piece of paper and she's telling me I'm fair. And then one day I realized it's relative for a person of color. She considers my complexion fair. And once that clicked in my brain for me, I'm like, okay. But I was just like, you're, you're a piece of paper and you're saying I'm fair. It's relative. And so I, I get it. And, and I would say sorry for that tangent, but I'm not. Um, this one is coins. And this is the shade. I'm going to open it and swatch it, which is weird because look at this applicator. I don't like these kind of applicators. I did read on, on the website, it says it smells like something. I, I don't know. But this is Coins. Oh, let's put coins. I do not like these kind of applicators. Let's put this over Naomi. Okay. Um. Yeah, and the other thing, <laughs> the other thing I purchased, this was the holiday set, Naughty List. Sorry now for all the glares. And this was already discounted and with the 30% off. And so I said, and I looked at the colors and they all looked like actual colors that I would get use out of. And so that's why I purchased it. And I am going to swatch them all. Let me just not do that because of the glare. On the box, it does say these are good for 24 months. Ironically, 
the packaging for just a single one, it doesn't say anything. So we're just going to go with 24 months. So. <laughs> I'm taking a <laughs> Entertaining my damn self. All right. So these are the order that they were in, <laughs> in the box. This is Vixen. This just actually came today. When I order his stuff, it, it gets to me within two days. I order it one day, next day I get a shipping notice, and then the second day is here. So this is what that looks like. That looks like a nice shade. I do not like this applicator. And again, this is Vixen. Poison Berry. It even makes weird noises. Poison Berry. It's Shanghai. What did I say? Shanghai. Stargazing. I liked that this set had distinctly different shades because sometimes you get a set of lip glosses and they all kind of look similar. So it's just like, why do I need the set when like three of them look the same? And so when I was looking at these, they look different. And so I was like, okay, this one, the last one is Shadow Lover. Ooh. So these are the shades in what is it the naughty where's the box you know let me look on the invoice that's right in front of me the naughty list holiday mini lip gloss set so those are the shades in there my other gripe these two look like they might be similar on my lips they will probably look the same and so that was my 30 percent off <laughs> scout barnes flash sale haul let me know if you purchased anything. And let me know what you think about this bag. Does this look like me? <laughs> Does it look like me now? I'm being really silly. This one I purchased because I thought it might be a dupe for Fenty Sweet Mouth. The prices are comparable, full price. They're both like 20 something dollars. This was 30% off. I get the gloss bombs when they're on sale as well, but it's like, you know, sometimes we just want something different. I'm gonna tell you why I like the gloss bombs. This is, yes, this is Sweet Mouth. And it does, it does seem thick. Like you see this, but when you apply it, it's moisturizing. Like you see how this is just moving and I love the applicator because I have, I guess semi full lips and this does <laughs> cover it fairly quickly and even when I put this on I'm able to you know move it around on my lips my lips never feel dry I can wear this on its own if I just want some shine um, I can wear it over a lip liner I can wear it over lipstick <laughs> you know my brain be locking up and so I think I might put this on this side of my lip that's what I was thinking about when my brain stalled yeah when i think like my brain shuts down which is weird because when you think you would think your brain keeps going but mine just stops <laughs> and just focus on on that one thing i'm weird this shade is coins and the reason i keep saying i should have read the reviews well more of the reviews was someone said that his lip glosses are more like a glaze i did try coins i don't like the applicator and that was me popping it out while pulling it out. I do not like this kind of applicator. And this is, is thick, but it's also sticky. And even when I put it on, it's, it's, I was just like, I don't like this. And it does have a scent to it. And no, it's not the same shade as this is just dry i don't want to say dry it's sticky like even now like over here it's like the bristles are like sticking to my skin <laughs> it's not smooth and moisturizing like this is and the scott barnes when i applied it it felt like the kind of product that when i take it off my lips would be dry and flaky but they weren't my lips did feel dry when i removed it but they weren't dry and cracked as some other products do. Whereas with the gloss bomb, when I put it on, my lips still feel smooth. And with this one, when I tried the 
move my lips around, th th that's what happened. My lips were stuck. Whereas this one, it's just like chapstick. You can put it on and you can rub your lips together and your lips will still move. With this one, it was just like, <laughs> like it, it didn't want to move. And so the person who commented that his glosses are more like a glaze, they were correct. And it does say, you know, high shine, all of that. And that is true, but it, it's, it's thicker and it's not moisturizing. Um, the good thing about that is, is that this will last longer than the gloss bomb. I forgot I had swatches on my arm from when I did this look that I have on right now. <laughs> These are my, my Instagram swatches. I forgot they were there. That's why I don't like doing stuff on my skin because I'll forget and then rub against something. But anyway, this will last longer on your lips than the Fenty Gloss Bomb because this is so smooth. Anything you do, you're eating, you're talking, you're drinking, it's going to come off. Whereas this, because it's stickier, it'll last longer. But if you have <laughs> significantly more hair than I do, if you're doing the whip around thing, your hair is going to get stuck in your lips. Or even if you bend down to pick something up or you turn your head too quick, or if you have pets, you're going to have hair on your lips. This is, this is that kind of gloss. But what we're going to do, I'm undecided of what to do with these. And so I think I might either just use them over a liquid lip or over a lip pencil because on their own, I'm not feeling it. Just off of using this one on my lips, I'm not feeling it because of how it makes my lips feel. And I kind of feel bad that I opened all of them and swatched all of them on the back of my hand because I'm not excited to use them. Because <laughs> they're, they're, okay, so we're going to put, excuse me, so rude. I've been drinking more water lately and um, yes, I'm always like hiccuping or something. So we're going to put this on this side and even like, it, it, it doesn't, it's not a smooth application. Like it's not, like, uh, I, I don't like this. I'm doing this video because I want to know your thoughts if you have the Scott Barnes glosses. I don't see them a lot. I do like how this looks over this lippy. This is MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color in Atomized. That's what's on my lips. I do like this effect. And it does feel sticky. <laughs> feels significantly stickier than this side. But I like the effect. And if that's what you're going for, you got it. Fenty Gloss Balm in Sweet Mouth. Now, in comparison, watch how this goes on. Look at that. It just went all the way over. Whereas the Scott Barnes I had to do in parts because it was so sticky and drying. And I can even do this back and forth with the gloss bomb. And I'm not able to do that with Scott Barnes. So, yes, the Scott Barnes is shinier. If you're all about the sparkle, this just adds a little bit more shine, even though this is a matte lipstick and it's a bold color, it adds just a subtle shine. And this is, this is what it does. Cause you see the color, like it's not a color and maybe this one looks shinier because it is more of a color. I'm not quite sure. I do like the effect. This side is definitely stickier. I don't I don't like that. And I may just be really used to the gloss bombs. I've been using them for years. So let me know what you think of the Scott Barnes lip glosses. That's all this video is about. Short and sweet. My little review. It's, it's sticky. It's making me think about when I did that NYX Double XL lip lingerie liquid lip color whatever and my lips were stuck together <laughs> this reminded me of that but not that bad that was completely horrible so this doesn't feel like that but it's definitely noticeably sticky and again maybe i'm just used to the smoothness and how moisturizing the, the gloss bombs feel i do like the effect though I, I just don't like how that feels. So what I'm going to do is, because this is not a color, I'm going to put this on top. 
I just want this to, to not be so sticky. This is the NARS Laguna lip balm. Hmm, now it looks like this one. But it does feel less sticky. But I don't want to put this much work into my makeup though. Put on a liquid lip, then put the gloss on top is fine. But then putting something else on top of it for it to not feel sticky, like that's just too much. That's too many products. Now it feels equal, but now it also looks the same. And so for that, I can just use Sweet Mouth over this one. So just, yeah, I'm gonna end this here because I, I feel like I'm just repeating myself. Uh, yeah, but do let me know if you have any ideas of what to do with this. I don't wanna put them on Macari because I did swatch them on the back of my hand. And even though I wash my hands first, like I would be skittish about buying a product where you took the wand out, put it anywhere, and then put it back in. And so, uh, did you see that? What the hell? Oh, what the hell? Is this flaking? Ah, it's flaking. I felt it on the inside of my lip. And I know it's not this because it would be doing it on the other side too. Ugh. So yeah, I would be skittish about buying something that someone took the wand out, swiped it on anything and put it back in the tube. And so there are a couple people I know that they may want these just knowing because they know how hygienic i am that i did swatch them on the back of my hand um pet free smoke free environment so no contaminants in the air yeah i'm gonna end this video that was oh god okay i'm gonna go i'm gonna go thank you for being here <laughs> let me know your thoughts and you will see me in the next video